It's the world's largest oil firm with crude reserves of about 265 billion barrels. Currently, Aramco is state-owned, but the Saudi government is thinking about selling part of it off. It needs the cash to pay down its near $100 billion deficit. The move could lead eventually to the creation of a company worth $1 trillion, the biggest of all listed firms, and comes against the backdrop of the recent deep slide in oil prices. On Wednesday, oil dipped below $35 a barrel, its lowest in 11 years. CEBR's Vicky Price. I think what they need is more revenue of some sort, so obviously if they sell bits of Aramco, they'll get some in. But I think Saudi Arabia has been going through a process of at least attempting to have economic reforms, cutting back on uh, areas of non-essential spending. Some international investors are jittery over Saudi's ability to cope with low oil prices in the long run. The government says its debt and huge array of assets mean it can cope and it is taking steps to grow its economy. We have already seen some other countries, certainly the ones that are not you know, uh, able to rely on oil forever, or certainly not for the very long term, are doing different things, um, such as financial services or much more tourism. Aramco produces over 10 million barrels of oil a day, three times as much as ExxonMobil, the world's largest listed oil company. A sale would certainly put a dent in the Saudi deficit, but while it should attract foreign investors, the sheer volume of a share issue could weigh heavily on the market and raises concerns over how it would split oil revenues with its current owner, the Saudi state.